what's going on everybody welcome back to this tutorial series a mini series in which we'll be developing a rich notification a twitter rich notifier which will help you to get notifications immediately as desktop notifications on your computer whenever there's a notification on your twitter account so let's get started with some little coding stuff so first thing we need to do is is to extract everything we have on this url not everything basically but only this portion but you know we need to do an ajax request from our extension page to this file right here so in the last tutorials what we were doing is um, we were clicking on this extension which popped up a little notifier here but this trick simply won't work with our new extension because we need it to be automated and not just whenever user clicks here to inform the user what's happening so we need to work with background scripts now and here's my sublime text and let's get started so we already have the permissions and notifications we would also like to have permissions as a twitter handle because we need to access this page or we could specifically just restrict the permissions to this page only and we have got the permissions ready so we don't need this browser action now we don't need the script but something called a page and the page is simply just like a script but we do have access to the HTML now as well so let's create this page and I'll just quickly do it we don't need any specific title let's just add the script back on the chairs and that should do alright so let's just remove it and just test whether it's working or not let's reload the extension and we should get an alert box anytime now and here we go alright so it's working so let's just give it a little rich twitter notifier maybe and not a question mark obviously and some descriptions allows you to get notifications immediately as desktop once alright a comma for life and I guess we are done with the formality all the formal stuff we need to do okay so we got this let's remove the alert box and let's start with the coding so in the background page we need to launch a ajax request and we would need to have a lot of data filtering as well so i guess i would just go with um, jquery file because this would kind of make life much easier so I'll just create the jQuery as local file and in the manifest in the script or we already have got the page so let's just load jQuery right now jQuery now I have made this resource local to my extension so that you know I don't need to get into any fuss of permissions and all that for a simple library and now let's test jQuery if it's working then this co uh, code should execute and I hopefully assume that you know how JavaScript and jQuery are working alright so the first thing we need to do is to do an Ajax request to or not maybe an Ajax just a get request to this URL and the function should log or let's just use something else because we have already got console.log so data and let's just console log this for now and let's see what happens let's reload our extension check out the background HTML page the console and bingo we have got 
all of the data of that particular page and since I am logged in right now into Twitter therefore this data belongs to my Twitter account actually and let's see if it really does yes so this sentence is kinda associated with a Twitter account only so yeah this is grabbing data from my account and it's time to append this into a variable I can actually uh, or oh, let's just do it inside the get only so we have got var HTML data uh, as data and let's just append it right now to body and let's just check it out and in here what we see is we have got a lot of unwanted data as well which is not required at all so what we can do is we can just filter out what we need and that is something this ID only we need only this OL right here and nothing else from the page so let's go ahead and do <coughs> HTML data and since it's HTML uh, we can use find and since it's an ID so now let's reload this and let's check this out the background.html page and bingo we have got only this much data which was required but we have also got another OL list so we could just make it restrict to the first occurrence and we could just type rec rec location dot reload so we have got only one so now in every li you see we have got a hell lot of information and we don't need any of these uh, much of these actually so um, if you see then we don't need this activity header right here or do we uh, because this truncated tweet or let's just check it out so this header is something this and I guess we only need header don't we alright so we can actually strip out everything else except the header and which is everything else includes activity truncated tweet and this thing right here so what we can do is instead of just appending this let's give it a variable and let's just say or we don't need any data because we can just find uh, this one and just remove this and it would remove every uh, instance of this similar to this one and just remove the second one or make it prefix with a dot and let's, let's reload this and I'll just do a body append let's check this out alright where's the error okay we have got an extra bracket right here let's just reload this again and okay so we now see uh, only the header one and the rest of twos are stripped out so we have got a clean nice version of the header one and 
I'll just stop this tutorial right here and we'll continue with all this coding stuff in the next tutorial as well so stay tuned with me till then and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching